today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. Um, as you see, I recently purchased this Magic Chef 0.9 cubic feet portable washer in white. Um, the price, I got it for $217 and some change, that's including tax, and I bought it on Walmart. So I just wanted to do a little bit of a video to show you how it works and everything because I know the portable washing machines right now are so popular with the pandemic going on and everything. So if you're interested and you want to see how it works and all the details and the specs of it, then stay watching. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the Magic Chef 0.9 cubic feet portable washer. And I want to show you the size of it, okay? So I have my measuring tape here. I wanted to do this, just everyone's always wanting to know the size of it, you know? They want to know if it fits or not. So from here to here, it is one foot five inches. From left to right, the width of it is one foot four inches. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and do from the bottom of the machine to the top, which is the height. It is two foot five inches. I'd say two foot five and a half inches, maybe six. So about two and a half feet tall. This thing was a lot bigger than what I expected when I bought it online. There were so many choices. I spent so much time watching YouTube videos about it and I really didn't get all of my questions answered no matter how many videos I watched. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this tripod just so you can see from the bottom to the top how tall it is okay. all right so i just wanted to go ahead and show y'all the inside of the machine and i wanted to show y'all the measurements of it um when i was first looking you know at this washing machine i wasn't sure how big the inside was so i just want to show y'all how high it is now i'm going to be measuring it from literally the bottom to right underneath here i'm not going to measure here or here because that's not where the clothes go you know from here right until it stops right here in the middle so it is from the bottom to right there is literally one foot tall. One foot tall. Now I'm gonna measure how um, wide it is as well, just so y'all can see. Okay, I know y'all won't be able to really, you know, see this too well, but okay. From the width of it is one foot, one inch. So, One foot, one inch. That's how wide it is from side to side. And from the bottom of the machine to the top of the machine is literally 12 inches, one foot. So I just wanted to show that to you. Okay, now I wanna show you the wires that it came with. It came with the hose, obviously the plug, and then it came with this. This, I've heard people saying that it leaks, the one that it comes with, the hose that it comes with, and I haven't had no problems. All I can say is that make sure you tighten it really tight, and I'm talking about not using your hand, like get something to tighten it. Get your husband, your boyfriend, or you do it yourself. Get someone to tighten I had my boyfriend tighten it for me, so I have no leaks or anything at all. Um, okay, so it goes in here, this one, we tightened it, he tightened it really, really tight. No leaks, no problems. Now this is the adapter that it came with this and this piece here. They were attached together. So trying to put it on, I didn't know that this piece came off of this piece. It was just like one piece like this. It was stuck right here on the side together. So this was the normal piece that my sink came with. We were, and I didn't know this came off either. So we realized that this had to come off of my sink, which we don't use it anymore. And this had to screw on now this you have to make sure you can't do it like hand tight you have to literally get yourself a tool and tighten it really tight so it doesn't leak or anything okay so this thing goes up and down like this all you're gonna do is just put it in here you're gonna push it down put it in there and let it push it up and that's it and it's good to go so now that we have it plugged in I'm just gonna show you about how to use it the on and off button I know y'all have seen plenty of videos of this with the Cycles Heavy Gentle Normal Rapid Soak, Load Size Wash, Rinse and Spin. 
when I first got this, I wasn't sure how much to put, how much soap, how much time. I didn't know anything. Um, my first load of clothes didn't come out smelling so good. So, you know, with time, um, I've learned to use it. I got it about a little bit less than a month ago, and I've washed a lot of clothes since then. Now, today, I'm going to be doing um, some towels. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick heavy. My load size is going to be three. I'm going to take it up to 15 minutes for the wash. I like to do three rinses for my towels and spin. I take it all the way up to the max because I want them to dry quick, which is nine minutes. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and push start to get that filling up. Okay, my washing machine already filled up. I'm going to go ahead and pause it. It actually started to spin just a few seconds ago. I'm going to pause it. This is how I like to do it. Everybody does their different. Everybody puts... Some people put clothes, then they start the water. Some people put soap, start the water, then clothes. Some people, you know, to each its own. Everyone does, you know, their own way of washing. I like to let it fill up. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the soap. And with this, like they said online, and I've seen so many times, you don't need that much soap. And that really is true. This is one of my favorites. So cheap, good, I like it. Now for the towels, for most of my clothes, I usually fill up to two. For the towels, I'm gonna fill up to three. See that in there? Now I'm gonna show you my magic secret to making the clothes smell so amazing. And it's not the soap, let me tell you. Ta -da! If you've never used this fabric softener before, please go get it. Don't get snuggle, don't get downy. Don't get nothing else, just get this. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. They have this uh, in yellow and blue. Don't know the difference between the scents, but both of them work fine. This is my favorite though. I'm gonna do one whole cap of this. It's called Suave Tell Fabric Softener. Have it at HEB, I think, they have, I don't know if they have it at Walmart. One. You know what, for my normal clothes, I use one. So for this, I'm gonna do, for the towels, I'm gonna do one and a half. And I've tried this so many times already. I like to put my towel in, push it down. These are full size towels as well, you guys. Two. Three. And four. Then just push start. Let it do its thing. Six minutes to go. Just gonna bring it in so you can see it through its thing. There you go. It's agitating it pretty good, not struggling, not having any problem for full size um, towels. Okay, so we're back now and it is starting the draining process. I just wanted to let you know. I don't like somehow have it set up. So I literally have it like this into my sink. Y'all can do it however way y'all see fit. Everyone's apartment, house, trailer, RV is different. So this is how I have my setup though. So we're basically just drain into um, the restroom sink. And since I have it set for three rinses, um, it's going to do it three times. I'm just showing you this one. This is how it does. Right now, the washing machine is not moving at all. It's just going to drain it. And then it will start, um, it will start um, spinning, doing a little push action just to get rid of the last little bit of water. And this is basically it for the draining process. And this is how I have it set up. See, it's kind of giving it a little zhuzh, a little bit of water still in there. Then it will spin. To try to get out, you know, all the water. So here it is spinning after the first rinse, just trying to get rid of all that water. As you can see, it spins pretty good. It may sound a little loud in here. When I have the door closed, or even when I have the door open, I can't even hear it from the other room at all. Sometimes I don't even hear the beeping at the end, and I forget to get the clothes. So it does a pretty good job at spinning. It's still getting the water out, as you can see. 
Okay, guys. I just wanted to show you real quick um, the spin cycle. You know, I had to set it for nine minutes for the towels, which is the highest amount of time you could do. I usually do this for the towels. I never really done any lesser of a time, but for the towels, since they're so thick, I just wanted to do the nine minutes, and it doesn't bother me anyways. Um, so this is it, spinning at full speed. It's gonna spin for oh, about seven minutes, and the last two minutes it does like slow. So I just wanted to show you, you know, how quiet it is, how it doesn't really shake, you know, how fast it goes. It's getting all that water out, and it dries really good. I just wanted to show you this, and I don't know if y'all can hear it. You can definitely hear it, but it's not, it's not loud, you know? It's not really that loud. Like I said, if I was in here, taking a shower, using the restroom, anything, um, it doesn't really bother me, um, especially uh, from another room. You can't hear it at all. So it's just coming to a stop. I just wanted to show y'all what the sound that it makes whenever it is finished. So that's it, you guys. That's the sound that it makes. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Oh wow. You know, I wash clothes a lot. These are like, you cannot, you cannot squeeze no water out of these. These are, they're wet, you know what I mean? Like you go wash clothes. Um, I've washed clothes at a laundromat for the past couple of years since I've been living. Um, at this apartment because there's no um, wash and dryer connections So, you know, I know what clothes feel like when you go wash it in a machine or a you know Someone's house or something like that or your own washing machine a uh, full-size one and this is how they feel, you know, look they are There is no shine there. There's no There is no water they are almost literally almost dry it does a really good job for the towels like I said do nine minutes you want to do the full capacity and I like to do three rinses, but y'all can do whatever y'all want, you know, whichever way you feel, please. All I know is that this is a good little machine and it is the best investment that I made. Like I said, I bought it on Walmart, um, Walmart's website and it got shipped straight to Walmart and I went to go pick it up. It was about 217 with taxes, I think, it was, um, with taxes and everything. So, and this is the little lint machine, you know, the little famous lint machine. This doesn't really collect too much stuff this is actually from yesterday's stuff as well because i was washing all day yesterday you just get it the lint machine and just snap it back on and that is it for the video you know if y'all have any questions let me know don't forget to like comment subscribe um i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up